So hey guys, how's it going on? Today in this video, we are continuing with Firebase Firestore database tutorial. So in this video, we are going to start with the CRUD functionality. So in this video, we are going to learn that how we can actually create new documents with React itself within our web app. So here you can see that we have two documents and we have some data within that. And I have, I have used our old method to fetch data from the database. That is this one, okay this get data function which we have discussed previously so in this video let's learn that how we are going to play with the, the create function so for that we need to do some changes like we need to give our react app a good look we have to structure it so what i'm going to do is comment all this off and let's create a new component where we could add this thing so that we could add multiple functions within that particular component. So I'm going to name it as data block dot JSX and define. Now what we shall do here is let's just say RFCE and now I would like to save it and import it right here. So what I'm going to do is simply like this and then data block and you will get this thing and click on it. It will auto import at the top that is the special thing about uh, vs code and that is good now what we actually need to do is we need to do some stuff with our data block component and let's just save this file and go to data block.js just six i mean and here we actually need to pass in some data right here that dev you remembered which we got from which document we actually need the data and that thing we have to pass in here so i'll simply say dev is equal to the dev itself so this dev which we have map which are which we are mapping here i'm just simply putting passing in that dev to this data block for each of the data we are getting oh great and now what we shall do is let's just do call let me just copy it save it and go down and we have dev right here and now what we actually need to do is let's give this dev a key Okay, I'm giving it a key and now the key will be simply the thing. Okay, let me just paste it which we just uh, copied up. Okay, now if I uncomment this, all the data will be there right as fine as before. Now if I just simply save it, let's test it out and you see the data. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me just uh, remove this stuff to just show you that this thing is working so i commented it once and everything gone away and as soon as i comment this and save everything comes up so this thing is working fine now what we shall do is we shall add a button to actually create something new so let's create the create functionality so for that what i'm going to do is within the app.js let's add um uh, component to actually create our uh, new data so right here first of all let's create a component called let's say fb create now the full form of fb simple firebase dot jsx firebase create dot jsx again rfce and let's just save it and import it within that now this thing it should be out of this so because we just only need it once okay fine so now let's just get uh, let's just do fb create okay i need to add this and it should come and yeah it is there and it is now imported and now let us just save it and within this fb create we need to do some stuff now what is that stuff let me just tell you now here we actually need some components right what are those components and input element to take the name new name and uh, let's just give it a placeholder to show that this is the thing we actually need to uh, this is the place where we need to add our name for that i'm giving a placeholder and then within the next one what we are going to do is let's just simply give it skill the skill of the developer we are looking for then we actually need to give a button like um, click to like a button to create the new doc so what i'm going to do is simply add a button and within this button i'm going to say click to create new doc fine and yeah now we actually need some use state to actually get the data into those use states which data we have to pass into the database 
so for that I am importing u state and uh, let's just import it and let's directly create those u states here um, one of them will be okay let me use the snippet this one and one of them is name and the initial state will be empty and the next one will be skill right so its initial state is empty again and now what we are going to do is actually create an on change function within this input elements that is it and if i do on change is equal to if i do like an arrow function structure and here i'll simply say set name set name to be e dot target dot value and for that we need to get the e what is e is the element where the changes act changes are actually taking place okay so i'm just simply saying e dot target dot value we need its value to be set up as the name variable and this is almost same thing to be done uh, in the next input element also and here so this time it is going to be our set skill that is it now what we have to do is we need to do one thing when i click on this button these two uh, input should automatically like okay first of all let's test it out so what i'm going to do is on change okay fine let us see whether they are working or not and for that what i am going to do is let's use a use effect to just check whether it's working or not and um, okay now i have imported it this should be a comma and now it's good and uh, what i'm going to do here is use the snippet and just clean this up and in place of input i'm going to do it for name only and if the name changes what you simply do is log um, window dot let's say a heart okay let's do the fire symbol uh, and then what i'm going to do is log the name itself okay now what we are going to do is save it and go here and you see our elements are right there and then if i open up the console and yep it is there and fine now if i change the name let's say to sam and you see when i press s it made it s and when i press a again after s it took all the value inside the input and at the end when i have entered three letters it's it has total three letters and if i remove one from here it gets two and then if i remove one other one it gets s and same thing with the scale one and that is something we are looking for and now actually in this component i don't think we would need a use effect so i'm just simply removing it and now what i'm going to do is create an on click function for the button also and what that will be is to just uh, uh i mean empty these input elements it is just to empty these input elements yeah and uh, it will be just simply of the same structure but uh, what we actually need to do is we will actually create our uh, create function within this component only because for that that is the reason we have created this complete component right yeah so we are going to create it right here only so let's just do let's just give these uh, two inputs an id so that we could just uh, simply empty them using document or get element by id okay so the first one i'll give it name one and i will just simply copy this guy and then here let's paste it and instead of name one i will name it skill one and here what i'm going to do is document dot get element by id and what is that id name one fine dot value is equal to empty that is the thing we also need to do with the skill one and nothing else so this stuff is done now let's just test it out whether it's working fine or not and if i refresh it once okay i will enter something random and when i click on click to create new doc it should be empty and now it is and now what we have to do is also we need to 
uh, create a function to actually do that now this is the most important part this is the most important part of the video so your complete focus towards the video okay so let's create a function first of all let's name it create doc and within this function we need to get an object so i'll name it new data obg which is our new data object okay fine now let's just log something to actually test it whether it is working or not by for debugging purposes and i will simply give a text symbol here okay i need to enclose it within quotes so yeah now it's good and uh, after this what i'm going to do is uh, let's do the main stuff okay so now let us use the ref but for that we have to export it i don't have that ref variable uh, in here i have it in app.js and i i am not going to create this variable again and again and again i am just going to create it once and then export it within the other components that is a faster way right so i'm just removing it from here pasting it right here okay so that i can easily export it so what I'm going to do is here, let's say export, what I'm going to export, I'm going to export the ref function. And if I save it now, it is good. Now let's just import that ref, import ref and here it is. So it has now, it is now imported. So what we are going to do is ref dot doc, ref dot doc. And after this doc, we need to add like do something like uh, dot set. Now, what is this set? The, within the set only, we have to add our new object, which will be our new data object. Fine. And now, new data object. After this, we are simply going to do catch and why this catch. By chance, if there is an error then you just simply console log it or make an alert about it do whatever you want i'm going to do an alert as well as a console log so i'll do console dot error because i want it to be shown as an error so fine now this much is fine now what will happen is if you leave this doc just as this now you should get an idea that here we have to pass in an id for the doc right that is something very important in firestore but uh, i have not given it any id now if i leave it just like this firebase will generate its own id and i don't want that because it will interrupt me in some my ops in some of my other functions like if i want to edit it i don't have its id I have to again get it from there and then fetch it and then look about it but I don't do I don't want to do that 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 amount of stuff so I want my own ID okay so and now we cannot just give ID to one after the other one after the other no one will do that so we are going to use a simple library for that but first of all let's just test it out okay this much amount this much should be fine to work out and uh, okay so okay let's just we i have forgotten to do something i had to do that okay we have to call it function also right we have to call this function so now this is structured well and uh, let's go to this on click function and here let's do the create doc function and uh, add some curly braces because it is an object now we have the name the name use state which we created above then the skill use state and after that we have to pass in our id okay what will be the id i will show you in a few minutes okay okay fine now this should create its automatic id and let's just test it out whether it is working or not now you could just simply see it okay fine let's just refresh and then if I add some name Sam and then let's just simply add DevOps and if I click on quick to create new you see this it is directly added here great and if I check it out here it should be here also and we have Sam DevOps right here okay let's do let's test it again by with some other name now you will you may be thinking that how it automatically updated we haven't done anything for that guys we have done in the first part we are using on snapshot whenever the database updates somehow or the other it automatically updates here and that is pretty much amazing firebase is doing our job really easy right oh great 
and then here we have let's test it out with something other i'll say x y z okay it becomes c y z x y z and here i'm going to do c y z and and here you see it's actually created here and that is fine now what we are going to do is now if i want to delete it how will i delete this Thing. I, I can give it a button right but to delete it I want its ID guys I actually want its ID to delete this but without an ID I know I can't do that right so what I'm going to do is install a package called uh, UUID so for that let me create another PowerShell terminal and here what I'm going to do is let me just clear it once and then here I'm going to do npm i u u i d this is the name you can install it with this command npm i u u i d i think i have already installed it but I, for you i have again clicked on install so now let's just do its job so what i'm going to do here let's just import okay this is app.js we don't want it here great and uh, let's go to fb create dot okay let me just save this app.js first of all and if i go here let me just import import what import we need to import something like v4 for as u u i d v4 now what is this just don't ask me do some bit of research about it now I made an error here. I need to keep them within curly braces, not circular braces. I mean brackets, and then from u, I mean u, u i d. So this is fine. Now we have imported it, and now we actually need to pass in an id here. So let's just add that id. Like uh, what? How we can add it? We can just simply say u u i d uuid v4 which is you can say version 4 and then do this it will automatically give a random id to us and now if i save it and delete the two uh, two things which we created with fire the id is generated by firebase i'm just going to delete them okay and if I go, I, I think all these are created by Firebase because all of them I created right from here, not from my React app. So I'm going to delete each one of them. And like this and like this. It should be removed. Yeah, and yeah, everything is removed right here. And uh, if I do something like, uh, let's say my name, Ashish and then let's just simply say web dev and if i click on click to create new doc my this thing is here and my new id is also here and uh, i have my data in here fine and similarly if you want more fields for a dev or something like age and all that you can do the same thing now isn't that great guys oh cool now that is it for the create function and this video guys in the next video we are going to see that how we are actually going to do the deleting part how we can actually create a uh, delete i mean delete our the our data within the database so that part will be nothing much heavy like this because we have already done all our react app setup we just need to create I will not tell in this episode. Okay, so that is it for this video. I will meet you again with another cool, awesome video just like this one. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching, guys.